Okay, well, um, thanks, Matt, uh, for that, uh, again, the, another excellent symposium. So, yes, as, as he said, we're, we're, this is the closing part of the, the ceremony. Um, on behalf, really, of the organising committee here at UE Bristol, I'd like to thank everyone who registered for this conference this year. Um, we hope you enjoyed the, con the, uh, the content that we offered. To reiterate, really, what I said at the opening ceremony, um, we would like to thank everyone who worked tirelessly to prepare their online sessions. Without their effort, really, obviously, none of this would have been possible. Um, as conference director, I'd like to thank my colleagues on the local organizing committee, also Haley James and Scarlett Harris, who have worked tirelessly behind the scenes, and, and also everyone on the national um, BSG National Executive Committee. It's, it's been a real honor to work alongside such dedicated professionals. Uh, we're living in a, uh, uh, during a time when the voice of older adult needs to be heard and their rights as individuals need to be protected. And I'm sure you can agree with me that over the course of the past three days, we've listened to some truly inspiring work that's been carried out by members of the society. So the British Society of Gerontology then continues to do all it can to uphold its aim to raise the profile of research on ageing in a continually changing and increasingly challenging world. But before we formally close the conference, and before I hand over to Carol, um, who's going to say a little bit about next year's conference, in 2022, uh, when UE hosts this conference again, we, we look forward, fingers crossed, to welcoming you to properly to Bristol. Um, but now really over to Carol from Lancaster University. Thanks, thanks, Gary, and congratulations on uh, pulling pulling off a, a great conference in really, really difficult circumstances. So, uh, so I'm here to welcome you to Lancaster in uh, in 2021, which is a really exciting uh, year to be doing it in because it's the 50th uh, um, anniversary of the BSG conferences, and we've got the title of Aging Past, Present, and Future: um, Innovation and Change. And uh, as you can see from the screen, uh, we've, got, uh, we've, we've got the abstract submission now open. Uh, next slide. Thanks, Hayley. Um, so we want to welcome you to Lancaster. Um, you can see from this slide that uh, we're welcoming you on behalf of Lancaster, but also on behalf of the Centre for Ageing Research at Lancaster University, and also on behalf of our partners, the Continuing Learning Group. Um, and the focus on innovation and change is really apt for Lancaster. We're just about to move the Centre for Ageing into our Health Innovation Campus, which is brand new. And uh, we're, we're looking forward to moving in there as soon as we're able to. So next slide. Thanks. So the Continuing Learning Group, we, we were opening this in partnership with uh, our Continuing Learning Group. They're a partner with the Centre for Ageing Research, or c 4 as we call them. And uh, they originally, uh, were originally part of the Continuing Learning Department, but it transitioned to a self-funded volunteer-run programme about 10 years ago. And they've just celebrated their 300th lecture, so lots of anniversaries going on. Um, but they also run a range of other events linked to the university and support us in the C4AR um, in, in a range of events and will be working with us on this conference, which we're very grateful for. And they contribute to a huge amount of research and they really encourage our doctoral students in particular in their endeavours. Um, from acting as a sounding board to being participants. And you can see a picture of, of Janet there, who's one of, one of uh, the, the Continuing Learning Group's members taking part in an EEG study, as you can see. Okay, next slide. So Lancaster University is, is a rural campus. We have, we're outside the city, we're not in a busy city. Uh, about 15 minutes on the bus or in a taxi from Lancaster Railway Station, or you can bring your bike, there's some good cycle lanes. Um, we have direct routes to Manchester, Liverpool, Edinburgh and so on. Um, and it's also very close to the M6, uh, so you can drive straight off the M6 and be there within a few minutes. Uh, if you want to come in your car, we will uh, be giving everybody a, a free parking pass for on campus. Um, but really thinking about uh, you know, maintaining fresh air and, and open green spaces, it's, uh, it's a great place if the weather is kind uh, for walking and meeting outside. And Lancaster site conference team are producing a COVID pledge 
uh, which will detail uh, all their strategies around social distancing, so serving of food and so on. And of course, if we, we have to, we will be prepared to go online, but we obviously really are hoping that uh, you'll be able to come in person. Thanks, next slide. So we've got some exciting speakers lined up uh, with a, thinking about our theme, past, present and future. So our, our first, our past, related to the past um, speaker will be Alison Findlay, um, who uh, does research on the portrayal of women, uh, particularly historically. Uh, and we'll be looking at the demonization of older women and witch persecution with a focus on the local trial in Lancaster of the Pendle Witches, which you may have heard of. Uh, in terms of the present, we have Michelle Poulan, who will be uh, talking about the, the concept of blue zones, uh, which are areas of exceptional longevity. And he'll be sharing the lessons of the blue zones and also his ongoing search for, for new areas of exceptional longevity. And then we also have Sandra Hurst. So Sandra is um, a past president of the Canadian Association of Gerontology, which is a really great link because they'll also be celebrating their 50th anniversary in 2021. And she'll be sharing her, pas her passion for the stories of older adults, for the voice of older adults in research and the learning that we can, uh, we can acquire from listening to people. Thanks, next slide. We're also planning um, some slightly different flagship symposia, again on the theme of, of past, present and future and also innovation. Um, so what we want to do to start with is look at dominant themes uh, that were uh, featured at the BSG in the 1970s and look at them now and what's changed. We want to think about digital health. Digital health is a bit of a focus at Lancaster, so we want to have an open discussion, a sort of debate really about what we've learned uh, about digital health. And then we also want to look at how can we communicate research in new ways. So uh, we'll be inviting people to uh, propose multimedia presentations as well as standard presentations. And that will be in that, that symposium. OK, and the next slide. OK, and then um, I'm really excited to be announcing the uh, 50 at 50 um, bid uh, programme. We uh, we proposed to the BSG um, that we would have 50 bursaries for the 50th anniversary conference and we didn't know how they'd take it and I was really delighted when they were just as excited about the idea as we were. Uh, so this will be a mix of full bursaries with and without accommodation, day, single day attendance, a whole mix. But the aim is that they'll be slightly different to the normal bursary. So we'll still be supporting postdocs and students and so on. Um, but we also want to support people who aren't necessarily members of the society and who aren't necessarily going to be presenting a paper. So it's, uh, for example, supporting people from charities and NGOs and not for profits who are working in ageing to come and uh, come and take part in the conference and also to support our co-researchers in participatory uh, research projects. Um, to uh, who are part of a research team to to take part and come along to the conference. So uh, if we just flick back to the first slide, I'll just leave you with a picture of our castle in Lancaster and just hope uh, to be welcoming you uh, this time next year. Thank you.